everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts and today we have a small shop haul for you guys. I know, I know, I know, you guys are going to be like, seriously, another uh, box from Enablers Outpost. I can't help it. I am addicted. I love their pens. They're incredible. They're so comfortable. I can't help it. So we're going to see that. You're also going to see a new to me small shop and a huge shout out to Steph over at Lazy River Crafts for introducing me to Color Oasis. They have uh, washi tape, stickers, other fun stuff. And what I love is they're uh, a shop from Hawaii. So we're going to have Color Oasis. And then coming over here, we've got Shimmering Canvases. And I've got some special drills there. So this is not my first time ordering from Shimmering Canvases. I've got a couple different kits from Shimmering Canvases. But this is my first time ordering special drills from Shimmering Canvases. I think, well, maybe I have, I think I may have ordered some special drills way back when uh, in like little kits or way back when. So actually it's my second time ordering special drills from them. Uh, but I think it's my first time ordering like some squares. I don't know. I think I've ordered them one other time, uh, but it's been a long time. And then we have a couple pens. Uh, I think a couple pens. I'd have to double check, but some pens from Leopard Leatherworks. And these pens were ones that I had, uh, I bought the blank from them and I got to choose how I want it turned. And I actually got to watch it done live. So I got to like Ooh, it was super fun. So anyways, these are the shops that I am going to be unboxing for you guys today. And uh, we probably won't have any visits by the girls. They are, it's chilly. So the girls have found blankets to curl up in. Uh, Mochi's mad because I wouldn't let her lay inside my Udi. Uh, I guess I'm wearing an Udi. These things are magical. If you do not have an Udi, it's like a blanket hoodie and it's like a blanket hoodie dress thing. Those things are massive and so warm and it is chilly out here in the desert. Nowhere near as chilly as growing up in Michigan, uh, but it's like been chilly out here uh, and these things are amazing. And uh, the girls, like especially Mochi, loves to snuggle up inside <laughs> my Udi and she's mad at me because she, I wouldn't let her be inside my Udi while I was trying to film. So she's mad at me and she's pouting by laying elsewhere. So we're gonna kind of go ahead and break into this. So we have Color Oasis. And uh, this is a new to me shop. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check it out. I love this postcard. Uh, and this is one, uh, like Steph had actually sent me this postcard uh, with like the, um, with the code and everything on the back because it has a uh, code. So they're coming from uh, Kuai. So she had sent me this card and it has a code on the back that gives me a discount. So I'm not gonna show you the back, but uh, they're coming out of uh, Kauai. Uh, and I'm super excited about this. And I mean, how great of a message is that? I actually have like the card that, uh, Steph sent me sitting on the other side of my desk, like right directly in front of me. So when I'm sitting here, I can stare at it. Cause I mean, how awesome are those words? You are worthy of beautiful, wonderful, magical things. How amazing is that? So I just thought that was like, that is super great. Like what wonderful words to like live by in message. So I picked up a few different things from here. You can see this is my little box. I picked up one of their little pins uh, because I just could not pass this up. And this is an enamel pin. And I think I went with the scratch and dent one, which has a couple tiny, tiny scratches that you can hardly even see on here. So you pay like a couple dollars less with the scratch and dent version. And I love that it's got like the moon, the stars, a couple planets on here. And I figured, you know, this is one that, you know, you can easily cut the pin off, trim the pin off of that and turn this into, and kind of like trim it down a little bit. And I can turn this into a cover minder. Uh, so that's what I plan on doing with that. Cause I was like, that is just too pretty and too cute. So I got this enamel pin, um, because it was just too, too pretty. I couldn't resist. So there is that one. Oh, and it looks like this is a gift for you. We're going to look at the gift. Mahalo for shopping small with us. So mahalo, if you're not familiar, uh, that's how you say thank you, uh, in Hawaii in, uh, so we're going to break this so I'm, I'm not going to struggle with that and we're just going to cut this off because otherwise I will just struggle with it indefinitely because you guys know me in opening things so we're going to take a look at what we got here and then we're going to put that right there so we got a 
10 meters of washi tape. So this isn't even just a tiny roll. You got a nice hefty roll and that's pretty purple with the phases of the moon of this washi tape with that fluorescence. That's a freebie there. And then a couple stickers. Oh, that's so cool. Like a small sticker version of that wonderful phrase. I love it. And then you have this. Ooh, I like this one. Ah, this is really pretty. So this sticker, in case you can't tell, uh, has the monstera leaves and it says be gentle with yourself as you grow so I just loved the messaging that they had in everything so that was one of the things that I, I like when Steph introduced to, like messaged me about the shop I was like okay I have got to check it out so I got a couple different sets I'm gonna find the tape the washi tapes that kind of go together well I'll sort of find the washi tapes that go together if I can uh, I'm gonna look at the sides and kind of put them together and uh, of course coming from Hawaii uh, we're very uh, conscious about um, our like the packaging that we use in Hawaii which is why you look at this and you see that all of this packaging it's paper it's cardboard it's recyclable there's no plastic and that's because it's huge and it's big in Hawaii uh, for us to not use uh, a lot of plastic stuff. You don't really find the plastic bags. We were one of the first states to kind of get rid of plastic bags uh, and uh, like a lot of those uh, plastic things. Even when you go to the like the restaurants, you don't really, you don't get styrofoam to go to get containers. You get ones that are compostable uh, or like anything that you, ba you don't get the typical styrofoam containers. Uh, so I can't wait until I finally retire from the Navy and get to move back to Hawaii, uh, and get to go back. I consider that home now. Uh, my family doesn't live in Michigan any longer. Uh, I haven't lived in Michigan for a very long mess time myself and Hawaii is the first place I've ever lived that has felt like home to me. Uh, so I consider Hawaii my home and I can't wait to move back home to my house. So I cannot wait. So here we go, we're gonna go ahead and look at these washi tapes. So these are all gonna be 10 meters of washi tape and they're that like, um, they're going to be that like, what is it that, whatever the one centimeter, I think it's the one centimeter wide. I'll pull out my, I'll verify it. It should be, cause that's, uh, maybe they're the 15. Yes, so it's the, the 15 or 15 millimeter, sorry. So it's the 1.5 centimeter or the 15 millimeter wide washi tape. And these first four that I got all kind of have that like same kind of colorway and kind of blend together pretty well. Actually, that one goes with those. I think that one goes down with those ones. Yeah, that one goes there. But these three go together. So these three colors are all basically the same uh, design. But as you can see, it goes, eh, that one may actually go with those. Uh, yeah, it does go. It was just cut differently. Sorry. Second guessing myself. So these are all the holographic or the like the yeah, that shiny almost holographic uh, silver in there. You've got one that has the black on it, which is beautiful right there. Uh, and then you've got this one with the kind of like the lavender purple with that same holographic silver in there. Like look at that beautiful uh, with almost like that floral motif. And then we've got this one in like the minty green, but the same design with the holographic silver. Uh, and I'm going to turn these. So we're gonna use this one as the base. And we're gonna kind of turn these so you can actually see the designs that I got. Cause otherwise, what's the point if you can't actually see the designs? But I have to go in order. I know, look how big these sleeves are. Ah, the Udis are amazing. And then this one is the silver with like the, on the white background. So shiny. I think these, these are just perfect. Uh, and then I got this really colorful pattern of these ones. Uh, so this one is, and they're all gonna be about that 10 meters and the 1.5 uh, centimeters. This one is a really colorful floral pattern here. And then you have this one in pinks, that similar design. And it's very much uh, the same design as what you have there. I loved that pattern. So I got it in all of these colors. And then this one with the white. So I got the holographic style and then the plain style. So all of those patterns. So it's the same overall pattern as what we have there. It's just slightly different. And then these two, uh, I loved these two as well. 
Uh, I'm very picky with my washi tapes, as you can see. So uh, when I find a look that I like, I pretty much will buy like all the colors in that look. And then these two are the ones that have like the Monstera leaves. Same size, everything. You get a nice chunk on there. And then you got the black with the leaves. And then you've got the blue with the leaves. So those are my washi tapes that I got. And now let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So I'm super excited to give them a try and see how they stick. Um, because that's going to be the true test of seeing how they stick. So now we're going to go ahead and check out what did I get from Enablers Outpost. Obviously we got pens. You guys know that. Obviously I got pens. And of course there's our little note from Elizabeth. I love that Elizabeth writes on all of these. It just makes it so much more personalized. And this is what I love about small shops. It says, hi Alyssa. Thank you so much. Uh, last time she sent me one of these, she was on the easies for the Sudoku. So this one obviously is going to be medium. I was actually running low on candies. So now we're up to like filling my candy jar back up. I've been eating a lot of candy lately. Totally not good for me. We got some nerds. We got some fun dip. So we're going to put these right here. And oh my goodness, I'll have to show you these stickers. She knows me. Elizabeth knows me. And then we got some more candy some more candy all right and look at these adorable stickers because guess what some snowflakes and um yes pink flamingo because she knows I love pink flamingos all right you guys ready for these three pens so I try to limit myself and I don't order pens every single week I try to like not order every week I'll limit myself and order every couple visit or every couple times or like every other week or whatnot I limit my orders and but she was running a sale so that was the only reason that I ordered uh so you get they use the thin placers so you get a four placer and a seven placer and these are the thin plastic multi-placer so if I do use a thin placer then that's actually the thin multi-placer that I will use and then it also comes with a um single placer like the classic single placer and anymore I've just started because I have so many pens I've started just using this as my single placer because I multi-place everything so this is our first pen that we're looking at and I believe uh, the daughter Kay actually picked out this blend I believe as well so this is another blend that she picked out but look at how gorgeous this is you kind of have this almost brown tone it's like this reddish brown here but it's beautiful and then it blends into this gorgeous glitter I love that glitter and then you come up into this area and you've got these beautiful like aqua teal minty butterflies in the tip which is just beautiful love it and I love this size so that's one of my favorite things that enablers outpost does is Elizabeth measures all of the pens uh, for like the length she'll put out the length of these and I'm a sucker for that five and a quarter uh, length and then she also will measure around for that grip and for me I think most most of the ones that I get end up being that 1.775 I think around this grippy part here but I will go up to like a two inch uh, for that grip which I think is what they consider like the thin but look at that beautiful turn right there and I love how different all of them turn out but that's beautiful so that's pen number one so now we're gonna go into pen number two uh I couldn't pass up some of these colors the third one that we break into is one that I was wait I've been trying so there's our play multi-placers I was trying to get this pen or like one in this colorway right here for like weeks but every single time like they would only have them in the like the the thick pen or like the six inch pen and I'm not a six inch pen person I need to have that five and a quarter so having them in the, like the large size was a no-go or they would be like a two and a half inch like a fat fat pen and I was like I need a thin pen or a standard pen I couldn't do like the long pens it needed to be smaller so and then when they would finally come out with one that was a perfect size it would sell out before I could snag it so <sighs> I was super bummed and I finally snagged it for this particular time. All right, so this second one, I was just like enamored of this color of this one here. I mean, look at this. You've got this blue shimmer right here, blending into these purples, blending into like this teal minty color. And obviously you can tell I'm obsessed with this color. I mean, 
look at the fact that like this is my background here and that's the background you've seen for forever uh I mean like look at the color of the Udi that I'm wearing this is this is my color I love this color I love it, it it's, it's my color and it's the color that you see in here and I love this uh, like the confetti type stuff, the glitter pieces that you have in here, almost like little pieces of like glittery stuff. And then this goldish bronzy, it's more of a bronze copper that you see of those flecks in here. Oh, I love that. That is so pretty. It's like gold down here. You have some blue right in there. So it kind of ties the colors together. And then I love that bronze there so I'm kind of and, and I'm kind of liking like it's almost like the same color of that so I'm loving that combination of colors uh and again this is one of those like thin pens so you have those thin 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 grips which I'm enjoying the thinner grip but again you've still got that five and a quarter uh and it's kind of a similar turning here but still different so you can see how this has two tinies and then a little bit thicker and yet this has like the th small thick small thick small so similar, but different at the same time. And every pen that I have looks completely different. So they're always different. And then, ah, uh, my goodness, I can't wait <laughs> to pull this one out. So this one is one that I have been attempting to get uh, this turn or this color right here for what feels like absolute ages. I mean, look at how beautiful this is. <gasps> oh, oh. Can you be like obsessed with a pen? Um, well, I'm all obviously obsessed with pens, but look at that. Uh, I love this like minty green, like this color here. And then the fact that it goes into just like sheer, just straight glitter, but it's just melds so perfectly into this pen. And then you have this clear coloring right through there. Oh, it's beautiful. And this is a turn I haven't seen before, uh, but I think that's like the perfect turn to show to showcase to like really let this part right here stand out because that is beautiful love it oh my goodness I am in love with that pen I think that pen is gonna have to go on like my favorites shelf I have like most of my pens I keep in a pen uh bowl folder or a pen book uh once I fill up my pen book I think I'm gonna do like a pen stash video for you guys but it's not full yet so I'm not doing it yet but then I have like my 10 favorite pens that I do on like a pen display thing. And I'm like, well, do I want to graduate to like more than 10 pens displayed? How do I want to do it? Cause this is beautiful. Love it. So those are my three pens from Enablers Outpost. I know I've just like ranted and raved on that for way too long, <sighs> but I love my pens. And this is what you get when you watch my videos. I talk a lot and you guys know that. So guess what? You deal with it if you want to watch my videos. So anyways, all right, now let's move on to shimmering canvas. You guys know I love my bling. So now we're going to look at some bling. Let's all see. So we got a bag inside a bag. I was not expecting that. You guys obviously can tell that I do not, like I cut open this stuff, but that's about it. So let's see what we got in here. So from Shimmering Canvases, I was like, I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of round special drills, uh, but I don't have a lot of square special drills, uh, very few square special drills. One, I thought this set right here, like, um, you've probably, if you watch any of my videos, you've probably heard me like rave about any of my unboxings. You've heard me rave about <laughs> my colors of drills. Uh, about the, the drills and how like these greens, these 700 series drills are like my favorite drills, period. Like these greens right here are my all-time favorites. So I love these little like starter kits. They're, they're not a lot of drills, but this is like when you want to add just a little bit of bling here and there. So I bought these kits in particular that I'm about to show you guys kind of keeping in mind kind of something a little bit different rather than doing like ABs. I've got all of my square ABs left over from like Diamond Art Club square drills. I've got some or square canvases. I've got some ABs left over from that. And then I've got like these a couple different ABs. What I love about this is you've got four different types of AB and they come in these great little things here. So you get, I can't remember exactly how like weight wise, how many grams you get of this, but you've got some uh, four different ABs. And then three different, you've got like three different, um, this one I think is a crystal AB of like this mint ice crystal AB or sparkler type thing. And then you have crystals themselves. Uh, so uh, like this 
700 crystal and then 907 crystal. So I love it. Like, look at these colors. These are some of my favorite colors. And it, like my car, the color of my car, I think is pretty close to be, being between like, a, I think it's like a 906 is actually the color of my car if I were to color it out. But love it. And I love these little kits because it's perfect. And now we're going to look at this. So this right here, that I'm not going to go through every single one of these colors, but uh, this was like the, oh goodness, it was like, because she was doing this crazy awesome sale uh, on all of her everything. And I was like, you know, I've got a lot of round special drills. So I was like, you know, this is kind of like the perfect starter set for uh, crystal for like specials and I went with this one which has like something like 80 or 90 or some crazy number of special drills and these are all squares because I don't have a lot of squares and they're all like crystals and uh, some ABs scattered in but it's kind of like a really it's like crystals ABs crystal ABs and just enough and I was like you know these would be fun to do to have all sorts of things for like primarily I got these to do for all of my paint gems so I could start blinging out my paint gems with little specials kits so that way I could add a little bit to them and then if there's like a color that I really really like and I need more of well then I can go buy more of so these are like the small baggies where it's just a little bit of everything because I'm like, I don't know, I don't really do a lot of blingy blingy for a lot of uh, the, um, I don't do a lot of bling for my um, square canvases. But I mean, look at this. You've got some different ABs. So if these are some different just colors. And then you've got some pearls, like all of these different drills. Some of them are DMC colors. Others are just like straight colors. But I mean, look at some of these colors that you have here and you, I have to go through and I'll sort them, but, and put them in like a little thing. Uh, and that's like a, but I was like, how perfect would this be for adding some extra bling to my, uh, we'll turn those around so you can actually see what we're looking at, but how perfect would this be to add some bling to my paint gem kits? And if there's something else I wanted to bling up as far as an actual square canvas, but I think I'm going to use these primarily for paint gems. That's what I kind of purchased them for because this is like the perfect size for blinging up a paint gem kit. Because look at that. Look at that. So, uh, yes, it was an entire massive uh, set of like all the things in these small little baggies, which I'm not going to like go through all of that because that's way too many to go through. But look at that. And they're beautiful, beautiful colors. It's like every color you could possibly... Oh, I love that. Look at that. Uh, old gold medium DMC 729. That's a beautiful drill. Uh, so they're like the square crystals, square uh, ABs. Uh, so yes, I thought that would be perfect to add to... Oh, I love that. Look at that teal. Ooh, this one is beautiful right here. Look at this. So anyways, Caribbean Tides, I love it. So that was kind of what this one was, a little bit of everything. Uh, so, ooh, Glow in the Dark 820, that's lovely. It's been sitting there, I'm not covered. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna kind of like stop ooing and owing over the sparkly. I like sparkly things. Uh, I think anybody that does diamond painting, we all kind of love our sparkly things, don't we? Uh, isn't that kind of why we get into part of one of the things that we do for diamond painting? We love our sparkly things. So now we're going to move on to leopard leather works before I kind of keep get distracted by the, by the shiny and get enamored by looking at the shiny. So this is our little goodie bag from leopard leather works, Tim and Carrie. And uh, yeah, my, my watch is telling me I have a low battery. So here, Ooh, they have a sticker now. Here is Carrie Costello, leopard weather works. And they have their website. And then, you know, here's their thing where you can get some sampler for DP with sparklers. With a little code there, which that's another, that's where I know of another great place to get all of your special drills. And look at that pretty sample of washi. Ooh, I like that. It's kind of got that mandala type look to it for that washi tape there. 
All right, now we're gonna get into these two pens that I have. So I bought these on their anniversary sale. I bought both of these sets, or both of these pens, or all well, the blanks, on their anniversary sale. Uh, and then I got to choose what turning I wanted for them. Uh, so let's go ahead and open. And I said, I kind of like sent them, I was like artist, artist choice for the turning. We're gonna do that one first or that one first. And eh, we'll go ahead and kind of, we'll go with this one first. So I said artist turn for like artist choice, but these are kind of like the, the style of what I like. So that way they could say, okay, you can choose, but this is kind of the stuff that I like and the look of what I like. So I kind of left it up to them, but kind of gave my feedback of what I liked the look of. And so that way they can kind of keep that in mind as they kind of chose and to do the turn. So uh, I ordered two of them and I was kind of in like a uh, different mood. So this one right here, and it comes with, you've got the, an, the multi little three placer and then the single placer there. But look at that pen, that is beautiful. And I love this kind of like, interesting style right here where you've got these four uh little shafts there and then you've got your grip right here super super beautiful boom 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 right there and right there ah oh, super beautiful and these are again cut to that same five and a quarter which is like my happy length of what I like I think one of them was already a five and a quarter uh inch blank and then the other one was a six inch, six inch blank which I had them cut down to five and a quarter but I love this where it's kind of white and gold with that rose gold creamy color kind of coming in. But this is beautiful. Look at it. Gorgeous. Love the color. So this is the first one. And it was really cool getting to watch them actually turn the pens live. So Tim does a lot of the turning, like the, a lot of the turnings that he does, he actually does it live on their YouTube. And that's something, we're going to put that right there. Uh, and that's something that you can go two we're gonna move all of these scrunch them up so that way not quite so much being hogged so that's something that you can actually watch them a lot of times uh carrie will actually message you and let you know hey tim's gonna be turning your pen on this day at this time so like if you're free you can actually go on there and watch and you can be getting feedback you'd be like hey can we go a little bit narrower on this can we do that and you can actually have real-time feedback on the your pen as these being turned all right, you ready for this last one? And this last one is one that I, as soon as I saw the blank, I was obsessed with the blank and was like, I have to have this. So look at this blank right here. It is beyond gorgeous. It's got gold, copper, uh, silver flecks in there. And look at that. And then you've got the, the white kind of sprinkled in and the black sprinkled in too but that is just like oh love it love it love it love it beyond gorgeous and I love this just like the simplicity but complicated at the same time where it kind of really showcases the beauty of this turn uh but it's not just like a simple just whoosh up whoosh up it still gives you that chance to have some like interest here interest here and then really the this area and this design right here gives you a chance to really see the beauty of this turn right there it's gorgeous so this is that second pen that I got from them right there so look at that beautiful love it and I love it it's, it's like you see it and then the more you see it you're like okay that's and you look at it up close you're like that is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and that is the second pen that I got from leopard leather works there so anyways this is the haul that I have for you guys I have this these gorgeous washi tape and that beautiful little enamel pin from color oasis and then I have three beautiful pens from enablers outpost especially like this one right here is my favorite I've been looking for this one for quite a while and then all of these beautiful specials and this massive set of crystals and ABs and crystal ABs and all everything else you could imagine uh right here all these pretty shinies uh look at that gorgeous from shimmering canvases and then these two beautiful uh pens over here from leopard leather works and that I got to pick 
the uh, turn on and super, super gorgeous. I actually got to, and like I said, I got to watch those turn live. But that is my haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm super excited to go organizing these and getting to actually, I was actually waiting to work on my next paint gem because I kind of wanted to unbox this and kind of break out some of these for that next paint gem to kind of add a little bling to it and add more than just like the ABs. I kind of wanted to add some crystals instead of ABs. Crystals don't stick like ABs do when you're working in them. ABs are fun, but crystals add like a whole different depth and layer. And I'm like, I don't have enough crystals. I've got ABs in there, but I don't have crystals like this. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great day, everybody. Bye.